Okay, we got another very common question. Uh, how do you get a dog to stop chewing? Well, uh, chewing is a very normal and natural thing for a dog to do. It's part of their kind of, it's just part of their routine. It's a way for them to clean their teeth, keep their jaw strength up. Uh, it's just something that they need to do. So first of all, you need to get something for them that is appropriate for them to chew. So that would be uh, things like, uh, raw hides are questionable nowadays, but something like a some type of toy, that a Kong of some sort that they can chew on, uh, some type of uh, treat that they can chew that's okay, um, anything along those lines. But when they are chewing something inappropriate, what you need to do is you need to redirect them because everything an animal does is learning. So they will learn to chew more the more they do it. So you need to stop them from chewing, and I'll explain how to do that in a proper way here shortly. Uh, then after you uh, get them away from that, then you need to replace it and show them what is appropriate to chew. Now, if you have a puppy, I do suggest that you kennel them when you're not there, because everything they do that you don't see is going to be teaching them something. They're getting some type of a dwarfin rush from it. So I suggest that you don't uh, leave them alone uh, unsupervised. This is also a safety issue, honestly, for them. And if they do tr uh, chew up, if you have a, a bed or something in there, and they chew that up, you're going to have to get rid of it. Yes, it is more comfortable for them to be laying on a bed, but uh, it's also a safety issue. And if they keep digest uh, chewing and eating, uh, particularly is what we're worried about, those beds, uh, they could get an impacted stomach, and it could actually be a potentially dangerous thing. So... Uh, I do suggest uh, kindling them when you're not observing them, especially for puppies that are doing it all the time. Uh, also, you need to find a way to redirect them. Now, when I train uh, dogs, generally the first thing I start with is a behavior known as target. And target is simply uh, just that. Now, he's got into their good job. He, he, I train them to boop their nose to my hand. So my hand is a target. A target training is literally an animal touching something to something. So in this case, target. Good job. Where they touch. Oh, now Xanity wants in on it. Target. Good job, baby. She's like, there's rewards to be had. I would like some too. So I uh, use that. And the reason I like to teach target is because you can use it in so many ways when they're, uh, you need to get them away from something else. It's better than just calm or a recall to get them to you because it actually focuses them on the target. Where did you move it? Where is it? I gotta find it and I gotta boop it. So it refocuses them away from the thing you don't want them to and it breaks that cycle. So we need to break the cycle of them chewing and just enjoying themselves on that item. So boom, target takes them out of the mindset. Boom, they go do the thing and then you replace it with the appropriate thing to chew. If you just retarget them and then they get bored again, they're going to go right back to the last thing that they were doing. If you uh, target them and then give them the new thing to chew on, that goes a lot better in teaching them the appropriate things to chew. Um, usually I don't want to do too many uh, aversives per se because you, you can accidentally cause a, uh, a fear effect or a phobia or even what's known in, uh, uh, as a superstitious belief in, of an object uh, that can have different ramifications and you don't know exactly which, where they're going to go. It could lead to aggression, it could lead to uh, a phobia or neurotic disorders uh, around that, but if you just simply break the cycle and set it up with something more appropriate, it can go a long way in letting you and your uh, furry friends have a much more positive experience. All right, once again, this is Buckman Bistro Behaviors, and if you have any questions, send them my way, and I hope to see you again in the future. All right, bye now.